What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Hoppix and welcome back today to my time at Porsche. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we continue on here in our beautiful, beautiful porsche -y world and <laughs> last episode was uh, a pretty funny one. So basically um, what we did is we actually took part in the first ever community event in this beautiful town. And basically, we got sausaged. We got absolutely sausaged by the local residents. Unbelievable scenes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway, what I need to do today is I was kind of thinking, well, we could really do with starting to upgrade some stuff. You know, getting some better stuff together, starting to maybe do a few new commissions, maybe go and do some exploring. There's so much of this map. And we kind of haven't really explored too much of it. So I don't really know where's best to go. Um, but yeah, another thing as well is I got a letter just now from the, the mayor. Hang on, where is he? Is he here? Unread. Hey! Hey! What's all my letters? Oh, there we go, red. Okay, there we go. Boom! So there's another fireside meeting tonight. I don't know what it's going to be about, but it's at 7pm. Uh, and I was looking at this here. And Oh yeah, check this out. So I was, I was in the assembly station, and then I clicked this. And look at this! Look at all of these awesome tools. So you can see here that it says work table level one, work table level two, etc., etc. So I was kind of thinking maybe we should go to the tool place and actually see how much a work bench upgrade actually is. Because it will allow us to kind of like make some better things. Uh, but I do also really, really want to make this, which is the bronze pickaxe. So I do need to go and buy an upgrade kit anyway. Uh, okay, so let's go and roll in. But yeah, how is everyone doing? I hope you are good. Do you guys believe in fate? Do you believe in karma? Do you believe in good and positive vibes? <laughs> Unbelievable scenes, right? So, um, I uh, I posted an Instagram picture. Like, I, I have Instagram, by the way. My Instagram is Thanksia here. I haven't posted too much recently, but I'm trying to get back into it. Um, and yeah, I posted a picture because basically what I've been doing is like for over a month now, I've just been doing like a little jog every single day. Uh, because, you know, I spent loads of time in an uh, office chair and it's kind of like... Yeah, I thought it would be a nice thing to do. So I haven't missed a day for like over a month. I posted a picture whilst I was whilst I was jogging. And I was like, oh yeah, that'd be nice. You know, a bit of bit of hashtag inspiration, hashtag living the dream. And you know, if people think, oh well, James could do it, I can do it too. Ah, oh, within like <laughs> five minutes of doing that, bang, my uh, my my, my I, I I I pull something in my back, don't I? Don't I? So currently, right now, I've managed to wedge myself into my office chair. My back kills. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a run today. And it's like, oh, geez, are you kidding me? I mean, timing. Timing is amazing. That's the thing when you get a bit older. Just, just randomly, your body will completely betray you for no reason whatsoever. But hey, ah, oh, that's life. Okay, <laughs> so let's uh, let's buy one of these. Uh, how do I actually buy it? Oh, there we go. Right click. Okay, so we need one of these for, a, um, for an upgrade. Boom. Okay, we bought one of those. How do we upgrade the actual station? That's what I'm wondering. Um, oh, I can sell him one of these chests. No, it's not worth it for 18. Uh, yeah, how do I... This is Total Tools, right? Oh, this is the clothing store. Oh, we haven't actually really done too much in terms of the clothing. Oh, it's expensive. What? So these work clothes here? Well, I guess we could buy these work things because they do um, increase our stamina and our defense. Some of these, these, these are 1,200. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy... I'm going to buy some of these. Why not, right? Um, okay, so let's put these on. Uh, okay, let's put the jacket on. And let's put the trousers on. Yeah! Looking good. Nice. Wait a second, though. Didn't it say that I could upgrade a workstation from here? Was I imagining that? I've still got 1,700 goals, which is pretty good. Oh, jeez, my back hurts. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so at least we can actually go and do that, that that pickaxe upgrade, which is good. Where's the dude that works here, though? Normally there's a, a dude or a lady. I mean, I could just rob your store right now. This is not how to run a business. Oh, who are you? Fish! Fish! Okay, the bridge is done. Now I can fish on Amber Island. Great. Okay. Nice, today's Fisherama. <laughs> okay, so we haven't really done too much fishing, uh, but that is something that we can do, I guess. Huh. I need to go read this again. Either way, though, I'm making that pickaxe. Oh, it says upgrade the work table at A and G Construction. Oh, you sausage. I thought it was total tools because, you know, tools. But hey, 
Okay, do we go back? Um, I mean, I guess what we could do is we might as well make ourselves this new, um, this new pick because why the heck not? We bought the, the upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So we now have a bronze pick and a bronze axe. See, the thing that I want to try and get better at is uh, getting a better sword, basically. I think that would be a really good thing to do. Uh, let me refuel you and, you know, it's got another copper bar going. Uh, I try and have, like, something going all the time if possible. You just need to keep the wood topped up, but... I think, it's, I think it's the way to do it. And eventually, what I'd like to do is have, like, five or six furnaces and, you know, three or four woodcutters and all that good stuff to, like, keep lots and lots of things going. Ah, here we go, here we go. A&G Construction. I've never been in here before. Isn't this exciting? There's no one in here. Fantastic. Oh, okay, so... Ooh! <gasps> Whoa! Are you kidding? <laughs> That's so cool. So do you know when you go to like Robin in Stardew Valley and you've got like the, the top down thing where you decide to do stuff? I can move around everything in my farm. No way. So check this out. I can also upgrade all of these things so I can upgrade my house. How much is the house upgrade? Ah, so I need 10,000 goals. Oh, that unlocks marriage. I can marry someone in this game. No way. Huh. Uh, bronze bars, wooden planks. Okay. So what do I need for... Uh, I can get a coop for chickens, a shed, a stable. Oh my goodness me. I didn't realize there was so much... Oh, snapper rooms. Look at all the stuff I can make. Okay, so I need 2,000 goals. I need 20 wooden boards and five old parts. So that shouldn't be too bad, actually. I think I've got the boards maybe in storage, although I can just make some. And I think I might have some old parts from mining. If not... I can just go and do some mining. What about the assembly station? That's 5,000 gold, stone bricks, and iron bars. Okay. What about coops? I mean, I'd want to I wanna, I wanna make my place a bit bigger for this first, but... Wow. That's so cool. Change appearance of the fence? Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. I can change it to, like, a stone fence? Oh, but then I need materials for it? Okay. Wow. All right. That's really awesome. So I need, what, wooden plan? What was it again? Hang on. It's uh, wooden boards times 20 and five old parts. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, it turns out that I used pretty much all my wooden boards on commissions. Um, but it's okay. I've just basically spent the whole day chopping wood. And, uh, yeah, I'm slowly but surely crafting myself some wooden boards. Um, and, yeah, we're going we're to need a lot of wooden boards here. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Um, I've got lots of wood, which is good. I just need to basically get 20 wooden boards. So I have... How many do I have right now? I've got enough old parts. Uh, I've got 14 of those, which we've saved up. And currently I have three <laughs> wooden boards. <laughs> May take a day or two to get, like, enough resources. But, uh, yeah, we're in no rush. We're in no rush. I think that's the thing about this game. There is, like, no rush to do anything. It's kind of just, you know... Is my cotton ready? It is. Hey, okay, cool. Um, I'm kind of just storing stuff up in here for now, just in case I need it. For whatever reason. I need to get some more seeds, though, so maybe a good idea would be to go and trade some of my data disks in at the church. Because he gave us seeds, didn't he? Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. So I'm going to wait till 7pm. Um, this is like the, the, the town meeting thing, Majiggy, that we saw. Um... Um, 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 oh jeez, okay, uh, I'm already running out of space. <laughs> oh god, there's so much stuff, man, are you kidding? Um, alright, let me put this, oh, I don't know, put it here for now, I guess? I don't know, man. See, I need, I need more things, I need more, like, cutters, I need more rollers, I need more stuff, I just need more of everything. But, it's nearly, is it nearly seven? Okay, we've got an hour to wait here, so, uh, is it too late to go and hand it at the church? Probably, unless I can find the dude... What did he look like again? He's not here yet. My sofa disappeared! What the heck? Did you just move here? Never seen you before.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Let me talk first, and then we can all have pumpkin pie. We've had enough pumpkin pie, Mr. Gale, but hey, I okay. I have several items that I want to discuss today. The first is that thanks to the efforts of the new builder, James, we now have a bridge to Amber Island. I would advise people not to go into the cave just yet, as there are some uh, unruly creatures inside. I plan to open up the cave as a tourist attraction, eventually. Oh, do you remember when we couldn't go in the cave when we went and explored it? So it will be open at some point, gotcha. Since the last fireside meeting, I've obtained enough capital to commission the construction of five DD vehicles to form the Porsche transportation system. Right, okay. We're in the process of visiting the builders in our town to get them signed up on this project. When this system is complete, Porsche will enter a new stage of rapid expansion and become a beacon of development in the free cities. Hope everyone looks forward to it. In other news, we are aware of some thefts this week. These actions will not be tolerated in our town. We will investigate this to the end and capture the perpetrator. Must be Huss and Tuss again. These idiots never give up. They stole my favorite book. And my wheel of cheese. <laughs> and my socks. I hear you. I hear you. We'll get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Arlo will be spearheading this investigation so you folks can rest assured. That's all for this time. You all have a good night. Oh, come up and get some of Sophie's pumpkin pie if you want. Yeah, give me pumpkin pie, dude. Here you go. Enjoy. Yeah, we got some pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, it's weird because I was talking to someone just now, and like, uh, I think you, I think I talked to Presley, and he was like, "Someone stole my sofa." I was like, "How on earth did someone steal your sofa? That's just a, such a big, unwieldy thing to." Have you ever tried to move a sofa? I have many times. It's a nightmare. It's the worst thing to steal. If you're gonna steal something, don't steal a sofa. Don't steal anything. What am I talking about? Don't steal anyone's sofa. A man's sofa is his pride and joy. Leave the sofa alone. What did the sofa ever do to you? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so, um... Right, so this is like the, the commission thing that is... It's quite daunting, actually, because the DDs... Oh, it's closed now. Okay. The DDs are like these... They're basically tuk-tuks, right? And... I don't know if you can use them to travel all over the place. It would be really cool if you could. But the problem is, is that the actual amount of stuff you need to construct them is pretty insane. So if you have a look at, um, there, this is a DD transport. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a grill. Oh, I could, I could uh, grill my meat, couldn't I? No way. Okay, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, this is the DD. Um, it's pretty intense. So glass is made from smelting sand, which is quite easy to get from the mines. Uh, a single seat. I need fiber cloth. Rubber tires are bronze ore and rubber fruit. So basically, it shows you exactly of how many things you need. So 40 sand, 5 glass, 6 fiber cloths, a small engine, 15 copper ore... And then all of this stuff as well. So it's it's quite a lot of stuff. But actually, I think it's doable if we just do it one piece at a time. So fur and plant fiber, if you put it together, it makes leather. Right, okay. I think it's a case if we would just have to do this slowly but surely. I think we could do it, though. Still making wooden boards. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do about that. I kind of want to do it, but it may take some time just to kind of get everything together. Let's go to sleep. Anyway, let's, let's see what tomorrow brings. Ooh, look at today. It's so horrible and rainy. Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? When it rains and stuff, these are kind of just like my crafting days where I just sort of mess about and craft stuff because it's super, super horrible weather and everyone's like, oh, it's just miserable, man. Look at it. Ooh, horrible. Okay, so um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do I'm kind of tempted to start on that, um, tuk-tuk thing. Oh, James, come see me sometime. I have a commission lined up for you, Mayor Gale. Oh, okay, well, let's go and see Mayor Gale first. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I just put that chest down, didn't I? I'm going to fill that with all of the things that I need for this tuk-tuk. Oh, my goodness, when it rains, everyone has little umbrellas on their heads. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. All right, okay, okay, okay. So, we're not open yet. Hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to wait. He calls me in with a letter, and then he can't even be bothered to unlock his door. Unbelievable. Ah, there he is, there he Thanks is. Thanks for coming. 
I've been real busy lately trying to figure out who the town thief is. Ooh, I heard about We've that. We've never seen anything like it. It's so strange. He's not stealing anything essential, just random trinkets. The fools Huss and Tuss show up once in a while, and but they're more interested in big money items. We'll capture him for sure. We're kind folks here, but we'll still uphold our laws. Anyway, enough about the thief. I asked you to come because I want to further develop the cave on Amber Island. That cave used to lead to a ruin, but due to an accident, the entrance was closed. The, this was some 40 years ago. Since then, there's been various rumors of it being haunted, which is nonsense. But I think it's about time we used it in our favor. The Haunted Cave of Portia. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? There used to be a power generator in there somewhere. I'm commissioning you to fix it up and give it some juice. Arlo tells me we'll need to install a removable battery. So go do that. Then I'll get one of the Hulu brothers to get that place running. Ha! <laughs> this will be a fine tourist attraction. Okay. <laughs> so we need to build a removable battery. So a diagram has been added for a removable battery. Okay. Uh, should we go just go and have a quick look? See what's... See what it does. So yeah, this is a horrible, miserable day. I just want to do some crafting, but... Um, I kind of want to see how to make a removable battery. Is it in this? Would it be in this? It is! Ah! Oh, it's not too bad, actually. So, um, I've never made springs before. Don't know how to make those just yet, but... Bronze bars, power stones we get from mining, and marble we get from mining. So... Not actually too bad. Not too bad. Um, anyway, 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 anyway. Oh, I'm going to get started on this tuk tuk. <laughs> this, this may take some time, but uh, I think it'd be pretty cool once it's done. So if I do this, build. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm going to go and smelt some glass. Oh, okay. So I've just been working my way through this recipe thing. Um, and what I actually need to do as well is I need to make a basic skiver, <laughs> which is something that I haven't made just yet. I think it's for like fabrics and stuff, uh, which kind of makes sense. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just waiting for some bronze bars to go. But I have a marble plank, which I've just made. Yeah. Oh, it looks nice, man. So I just need um, two bronze pipes. And I have one bronze pipe and two bronze pipes. Nice. Okay, so this is a new piece of kit, which we've not actually used just yet. Hey. Okay, so it's for leather working. Nice. So let's put you... I don't know, man. Let's put you here for now, I guess. Can I, can I put you... I don't want to put you there. Right in front. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Boom. So, this allows me to make all of these things. So, I need six fiber cloth. I've got lots of plant fiber, but I need worn fur. Now, have I got some of that? I'm wondering if I can get that from the llamas. I think I can. You know, I've got one piece. Is that all I've got? Fur. And colorful fur. I need worn fur. I may have to go and uh, <laughs> give some llamas a little bit of a boop here to sort of see what we can get. Um, okay, cool. So that's good. I've got more of this stuff going, and I've just smelted. Oh no, my, my, I'm, I'm, I'm on the on the route to smelting here. Five pieces of glass. Uh, okay, boom, nice. All right, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can. Uh, oh, llamas! Oh, jeez, thunderstorm. Uh oh. How do you do, new citizen? I'm Agent T, and this is my partner, Agent H. Uh, we are part of the Free Cities Debt Collection Agency. Oh, no, it's the goons, lads. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, it's come to our attention that you are the offspring of the former owner of this workshop. Is that correct? Uh, who are you talking about? I don't know this person. <laughs> well, that don't matter. Public records show that you're his child. You see, your father owed us 50,000 goals for his business since he's not around right now. You'll have to pay it back as the closest kin. Because I'm a nice guy, I'll give you a week to come up with that money. If you don't pay, we'll take this house as collateral and don't try to run through. Oh, don't try and run, though, or we'll inform the civil corps. You don't scabby goons. Well, that's all. Now you have a good day. Come on, Agent H. Let's go. What should I do? Maybe I should go and talk with the mayor. <laughs> I'm not giving you 50,000 goals, are you mad? Unbelievable scenes. Um, so yeah, basically, from what I can tell right now, uh, I need a lot more stuff. <laughs> um, because I've kind of ran out of stuff. Um, I have my five pieces of glass, which is good. I now have all of my boards 
for the upgrade, but I need to upgrade the table if I want to complete some more of this because I need the hardwood. Uh, I need the wooden plank. I need the, no, no. I need the, the workbench level two to make the rubber tires. So I can go and do the upgrade table. Um, so I think we're going to go and do that today. This may take me a little bit of time. Um, it was old parts as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let me go and grab... Uh, where did I put the old parts? As if these guys are good. No. No. They're just goons. And then 50,000. Unbelievable. All right, okay. So I'll tell you what. Let's go and talk to the mayor. I'm going to go and upgrade the table. And then, yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, let's go and see what the mayor has to say. Oh, he's not doing his voice. Debt collection agency, that's, there's such a thing, but I didn't know your father had any debt. Why don't you do this? Next time, have them come to me first so we can work something out. You've been working hard. Portia has been behind you all the way. You should also have a talk with Martha. She had to deal with some debt when her husband passed. Maybe she can give you some legal pointers. Wow, okay, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for nothing, dude. You could have been like, oh, I'll pay. It's cool. No. Not gonna happen today. <sighs> All right, okay. So I guess that's kind of like another quest, which we need to go and talk to Martha. Let's not worry about that too much right now. Basically, what I want to do here is... Oh, Albert, have I met you? Yes, I have. Okay. Um, I want to go and upgrade my workbench. That's the plan. Work table. Upgrade. What am I missing? What? What? Oh, no, I had the wrong one selected. Oh, I got worried there for a second. Okay, this is going to take all of my goals, but it's probably going to be worth it. So, three, two, one, boom! Oh, and we can move it? Oh, I'll leave it there for now. Nice. It's upgraded. Let's go and have a look. Hey, wow, that looks so cool, man. Are you kidding? Look at that thing. That looks really, really nice. Um, So, this is my upgraded workbench. Um, and yeah, the, the cool thing about this now is that there are way more crafting recipes, which we can do. Uh, especially some of these things. So look at these pigments, rubber tires, bronze bars and rubber fruit. We need that. We need these single seats as well. So we're going to be needing to make leather from this. Uh, wooden boards, more wooden boards. Oh, geez, there's so much stuff added. <gasps> Get some lights as well. That might be nice. Need glass for that. Oh, geez. This game is huge, man. Sunglasses? Critical chance times 10? Oh, actually. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Wait a second here. Eyeglass. Wait a second. Wait a second. Bear with. Boom. Craft. Yes. Confirm. Inventory. Thing. Sunglasses. Put on. No, I can't wear them. No! What? <laughs> Why can't I put them on? Are you kidding? I mean, I've got them equipped, but... Oh, really? <laughs> I wanted to put sunglasses on. Oh, well. Okay, well, at least I got a 10% critical chance. Uh, well, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be about it for today's episode here in my time of Porsche. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do... My time at Porsche done fun. I just realized I've screwed up the uh, quest there because if I had two glasses, I could have handed them in. Oh. <laughs> but until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Right to you.